The movie begins by showing us a woman tied to a tree outside a cabin surrounded by trees. A man covered in blood leaves the house and bashes the woman to death. The other battered women in the cabin are trying to escape by gutting free the ropes the man had used to tie them up. One of the women notices the keys hanging on a tree outside and goes to get them to free her friend. The scene cuts out as she reaches the keys, but the man approaches her from behind. Transmission one. Ben wakes up to the TV static. He gets up to turn it off, puzzled that it turned itself on. Maya drags him back to bed and they cuddle. Maya realizes what time it was and gets up to call her husband. She tries his number, but her phone doesn't work, so she decides to go home. Ben asks her to leave her husband and stay with him, but Maya is reluctant. She tells Ben that she has to go and heads out. Maya heads to the parking lot and to where she parked her car. As she's trying to get in, she sees a man groaning in pain, sitting on the floor in front of her car, and that he needs some help. Maya is skeptical and doesn't rush to help me. The man keeps asking her for her, so she comes all ready to investigate and sees that he's bleeding. He tells her that a man cut him with a knife as he was walking to his car. She tells the man that he needs to go to the hospital when she hears another man yell from behind. Scared, she hurries into her car and drives away. When Maya reaches her apartment building, she finds more people behaving strangely. At her door, she meets her neighbor who tells her that her husband Louis was looking for her. Inside, Louis had his friends over and they were playing video games, but it seems some type of static had disrupted the TV. Maya tells Louis that she was out late with her friends and she couldn't call because her phone wasn't working. Suspicious, Louis asks follow-up questions, all of which Maya answers. Maya decides to take a shower and on her way to the bathroom, she notices Louis and Jerry start a verbal altercation. Jerry tries to walk away, but Louis hits him on the head with a bat repeatedly. Maya runs away in panic, leaving Rod struggling with Louis to take the bat away. Maya runs to the hallway, but slips and falls on a dead man's blood. She watches as her neighbor from down the hall murders a woman and in a panic, bangs at Janice's house across from her own. Janice opens the door and tries to strangle Maya, but the man outside stabs Janice to death. Maya escapes into Janice's house and notices the same static TV transmission that she saw in her apartment. Maya turns off the TV and decides to hide inside for the rest of the night. In the morning, Maya returns to her apartment and gets her stuff. On her way out, she sees Louis tied and gagged to a chair. Maya leaves him there and heads out. As Maya passes the hallway, Rod grabs her by the hair and drags her into a janitor's closet. He ties her up and tries to see if she was crazy like everyone else. After making sure she was sane, Rod unties her and explains everything he witnessed the night before. Ben comes to Maya's apartment but finds Louis instead of Maya. Maya tells him that they have to leave right away. Outside, as they head towards Maya's car, they notice a police officer call out to them. Maya tells Rod to keep walking, but he tries to speak to her when suddenly she shoots him. Surviving the shot, he attacks the woman and takes her gun. Rod runs back to Maya's car as she pulls out of the parking space. Rod is upset that Maya tried to leave him behind and become erratic. He hits Maya on the face several times until Maya crashes the car incapacitating Rod. Shook by everything that happened, Maya takes her Walkman and heads to the train station where she thought Ben would be waiting for her. Back at the apartment, Lewis beats Ben unconscious and puts him in his truck. Transmission 2. Anna is talking to the dead body of her husband Ken sitting across the table. She hears the doorbell ring and goes to check who it is. At the door, Clark asks Anna to give him the hatchet Ken had borrowed from him. Inside, Clark sees Ken's dead body. Anna tells him how her husband tried to strangle her to death, but she had managed to stab him in the neck. Clark tells her that she did what she had to do while remembering how he had dragged Rod's body out of the car to help, but had ended up cutting off his head when Rod got aggressive. Clark tells Anna that the strange transmissions are affecting people's logical thinking and driving them insane. Suddenly, they hear the doorbell ring. Clark tells Anna to get rid of whoever is outside, and he would hide her husband's body. Anna asks who it was, and Louis pretending to be pest control barges into the house. Inside the house, Louis starts hallucinating that he found his wife. Clark comes and sees Anna and Louis embracing, and asks what was going on. Feeling threatened, Louis sprays pesticide on Clark's face. Anna tries to help Clark get the poison out of his eyes, while Louis realizes she wasn't actually his wife. Louis accidentally walks into Anna's bedroom and finds Ken's dead body lying there. Anna and Clark confess what they had done. Hearing their stories, Louis wants to come clean and shows them Ben's unconscious body. Louis remembers how he had met Ben. Ben had come to the apartment looking for Maya. 
Lewis was on the floor trying to get to a knife. Ben unties him, but Lewis ends up hitting him in the head. Anna makes cocktails for Clark and Lewis as they sit on her couch. Suddenly, they hear the doorbell. Clark goes over to open it and finds a young woman who tells him that her name was Laura and that her aunt lived there. Laura sees Anna and goes to embrace her, but Lewis, thinking she was about to attack Anna, beats her to death. Anna is disturbed by what she sees and hides in the bathroom. Clark dismisses the murder as Lewis defending Anna and convinces him not to attack the next arrival, Jim, who is apparently oblivious to the situation. In the bedroom, Anna hallucinates that Clark is her husband, and Lewis hallucinates that Jim is Ben, telling him his wife was damaged goods. Enraged, Lewis beat Jim to death. When Lewis goes to the bedroom, he sees Clark and Anna kissing, but hallucinates Anna was his wife. Once he realizes she's not, he assumes that they must have done something to her. Lewis pins Clark to a chair using kitchen knives, and then proceeds to interrogate Anna on the whereabouts of his wife by spraying her eyes with pesticide. He then murders Anna by forcing her to drink poison. While Lewis is interrogating Clark, Ben comes in and hits him over the head. Transmission 3. Traumatized by everything Lewis had put him through, Ben fantasizes about bashing Lewis's head to death. But instead, Ben tries to talk to Clark calmly so he can tell him where Maya had gone. Lewis recovers and comes after Ben and Clark as they run to get away from him. They hide inside Clark's garage as Lewis bangs at the door. Ben keeps on asking Clark where Maya had gone, and he tells him that she said she was going to Terminal 13. Ben convinces Clark that the signal is a lie breaking its hold over him. They fight Lewis off and drive towards the train station. On the way, Clark tries to explain what was happening to people because of the strange transmissions. Halfway to their destination, the two companions run out of gas and have to continue on foot. At the station, Ben and Clark come across a lot of dead people. Ben hallucinates that he sees Maya's face ripped off and has a panic attack, but Clark helps him calm down. Ben finds Maya tied to a wheelchair, placed in front of the transmission that was turning everyone crazy. Ben tries to wake her up, but she seems like she is hypnotized by the images. Clark tries to get Maya some water, but is attacked by Lewis. Ben begs Lewis to let Clark go. Angry, Lewis turns on Ben and starts to strangle him. Lewis accuses Ben of poisoning his wife's mind and taking her away from him. Ben tries to put up a fight, but Lewis holds him down. Lewis's paranoia kicks and he thinks Maya is interrupting him. He starts yelling at her, which gives Ben a segue to fight back. Lewis continues to have imaginary conversations with Maya. He imagines that she is telling him that everything was his fault. He thinks that Maya is changing masks to mess with him, even though she hadn't moved for the chair. Ben exposes himself to the transmission, so he's able to get the strength to kill Lewis. He confronts Lewis, saying that Maya wasn't Lewis's wife, but his. He tells him not to look at her or speak to her. Lewis is now perplexed as Ben makes suggestions about who he is, creating confusion about the person that he is. When Lewis tells him his name, Ben pretends to be upset and tells him if he was playing a game or if he actually thought he was a different person. In this case, Ben convinces Lewis that he was him by playing Lewis from the first he met him. He tells Lewis that Maya doesn't love him and that she was just using him. Destitute by what he hears, Lewis punches a signal broadcasting TV in a frustrated rage and electrocutes himself. Ben wakes Maya up from her daze and they embrace. They pick Clark up from where Lewis had strangled him and left him on the floor. The three head out of the station. Maya takes care of Ben's injuries by pouring water over it and bandages him up. Clark says goodbye to the couple and heads out on his own after filling his bag with supplies. Ben and Maya find a supply store and get themselves and change of clothes. Having missed each other terribly throughout this ordeal, Ben and Maya kiss. The movie has a vague conclusion, as it shows us Maya in the following scene still restrained to the chair. Even though her eyes were open, her mind does not seem to be present. Maya closes her eyes as Ben puts her headphones on her, a tear running down her cheek. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.